What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm in Carson City, Nevada, and I stopped by a place called Michael Hole RV Center. H-O-H-L. And uh, they got a lot of cool RVs here. I figured I'd stop and just kind of walk around and look look at it. So the things that caught my eye are these, uh, I guess they call them A-frames. There's a couple companies that make these styles, but this is by Rockwood. And uh, I like these because you can pop them down and put them in your garage. Because I live in a place now where I, I don't have RV parking, but you can park these in your garage. This is the smallest model they make. This is the Rockwood Premier. I'm just going to kind of fly around these things. If you don't know about these, these are pretty cool because um, they got hard sides. You know, they're basically like a pop-up tent, but with hard side walls, hard top roof. So good for wind, good for snow and rain. And they got... A lot of amenities inside it's pretty cool let's take a look inside one of these so it pops down to this height right here so that's like what three and a half four feet high fits in pretty much any garage as long as your garage is long enough to fit it in here because the tongue the the lengthwise I don't know how long these are but uh, yeah it's cool hard side walls here so you can go inside here you got a nice step right there the uh, what is that vinyl floor it's like a faux wood and look at this got a nice size bed I don't know if that's quite a queen size bed but it's a residential style mattress though so mommy and daddy got plenty of room to sleep over there you got a, a bubble uh, window there so you can look out and maybe see the stars if you're laying in there got an LED light you got your clothes hanger there so if you want to hang some clothes this is the smallest one by the way dinette over there so you can sit four people and uh, you can convert that into a bed so if you have two kids you can probably fit your two kids over there so this is good for a family of four I got three kids so I don't know if I can fit all my kids in here probably could make it happen put the little baby down here on the floor on a little air mattress and then put the two boys over there maybe but look at this I guess you would flip it like that and then flip it up again. You got a three burner stove. That's actually kind of cool. I like it. And then the glass top is, makes it more like a workspace you can still use. Same thing here. It's got a like a cutting board kind of kind of deal here. Yep. Hot and cold water. Then you got a little tiny fridge. How do you do this here? There you go little tiny fridge just enough to get the job done you got a lock on there so it doesn't pop open when you're driving and then there's some storage pots and pans pantry check this out you got a microwave over here for that popcorn and, and stuff like that storage right there you got your uh, residential style outlet right there there's a cable for a TV if you're at an RV park and then you got a Dometic AC. So if you are camping in the desert or in a hot environment in the summer, you can cool this thing down. And I'm sure this is such a small space that that AC probably makes it nice and cool. More LED lights, more bubble windows. You got the shades so you can black it out. There's a mirror there. Two-way fan with three speeds. You can. Um, vent this thing out nicely in the winter time or even in the summertime. nice and here's a look at those locks you just lock it up that wall folds down boom this wall folds down and then both uh, rooftops collapse on each other that's pretty cool so this is the, like I said this is the smallest one got a lot of amenities in a little tiny a-frame camper so look at this one. This one is an off-road kind of package called the ESP. Same kind of deal with the pop-up roofs and stuff and the hard side. But uh, it's, it's pretty nice. You got storage up front. You can actually store a lot of stuff in here. And you got access pass through on both sides. Look at this. You can actually lock up your generator right here. So you can, uh, or, or bikes or whatever. You can lock up all kinds of stuff there so people don't walk off with it. There's your uh, two propane tanks in the front. Stabilizer jacks. Oh, look, he's got a fire extinguisher there. Another storage in the back. Spare tire back here. And then uh, here's your hookups here for water, 
there's an outdoor shower right here. So if you want to put a little pop-up tent out here, you can actually take a shower out here. That's pretty nice. But uh, if you look at this one, this one actually has the bigger tires, so the, the sidewalls are stronger, the treads are bigger, so it doesn't slide all over the, the trail. And it lifts it up off the ground a little bit too, so. This is kind of nice, man. ESP Rockwood off-road A-frame. Let's look on the inside. So check this out. So inside here, look at this. Nice. I like the cushions here. They're thicker. Of course, dinette for a family of four, but you can change that to a bed. Same thing with the windows. You can uh, open and close them as far as letting light in. A three-speed fan in and out. There's your uh, three-burner stove, hot and cold water. They were saying that these didn't have uh, hot water before, but now this has actually uh, hot water system on here and there's your little fridge he said that this fridge is actually a three-way fridge and you can actually keep your stuff cool running it right off your car if you wanted to there's your microwave with some storage there's your ac your dometic ac your household power and cable there's a speaker down there too and check this out this one has a furnace so you can stay warm. This will warm this place up in the winter. And then you got your Dometic AC to keep it cool in the summer. And there's a porta potty underneath this bed here. If you lift this up, there's storage under here. See that? There's a porta potty. So you can actually set that up here if you're in emergency. Take a, a pee or a poo in here if you had to. And then there's an outdoor shower. If you think about it this has literally everything you need to get the job done you know is it luxurious no but you can do literally everything shower cook store food sleep all in a hard side camper that's actually really cool I like this model and it's an off-road model too so that's pretty cool this one he said this one is uh, approximately MSRP $19,000 uh, you can haggle I'm sure but in general let me sit down here I kind of like this though this is nice 19,000 for a camper that can do literally everything it's pretty cool let's go take a look at a little bit bigger version of this that actually has an indoor toilet and shower it's like a wet bath let's go take a look at that one I saw it out there in the front all right so check this one out this is the big boy so they said that they have a standard model and a high wall model this is a high wall model so the walls on this are higher meaning you get taller cabinets which is pretty cool and it's kind of walk around see right there it says high wall again this is a rockwood premier a-frame style camper with the hard walls and the hard roof i think this is kind of an upgrade from the the tent campers for sure so let's kind of walk around this thing and kind of absorb what we're looking at here. Pretty cool. Look how tall this thing is. You got the, uh, I think it's a electric assist. Yeah, these have electric motors, so it helps you push this up. You don't have, so if you're older or you have an injury, um, you could just hit a button and this actually has a power lift. That's cool. I guess since the walls are higher, you're going to need some, uh, some help getting this thing up. There's your full-size spare. There's some storage under here. Yep, there's more storage right there. Oh, look at that. You have your uh, 110 outlet out here. Here's your power, your power controls for going up and down on the, uh, the roof, I believe it is. Let's see, more storage in the front. Oh, they got it locked up. I don't wanna unlock it, but there's a lot of outdoor storage out here. That's nice. Diamond plate to protect it when you're going down the road. Two propane bottles. Power tongue lift. That's cool. Look at this. This one has a hard dormer. So you get a lot more um, living space on the, uh, on the inside here. That's cool. So basically, it, like an origami, you fold the walls on the side in, then you fold the front down, and then the roof comes down, and you lock it. Nice grab handle here. Nice steps. Look at this floor. It's like a vinyl floor. It looks like wood. 
case of fire, you got a fire extinguisher, Furion controls for your music and stuff like that, I think it is. There's your, uh, basically like a thermostat, I think it is. It says Dometic, so I'm assuming that's a thermostat for your AC. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Nice big bed for mom and dad. Residential bed. Well, residential style bed. That's nice. Could easily fit in there. I see a speaker over there too. Got some netting for storage. Here's your lights. Obviously, it's not plugged in, or the battery's not charged. That's cool. There's your bubble window for looking out at night. Then you can throw the shades down to block the sun if you want to. Again, storage underneath. That's actually really handy. There's your Dometic uh, AC, so keep this thing nice and cold when you're camping in the summer. There's your 110 outlet again. There's your cable outlet for TVs if you uh, are plugged into a, a campsite. There is your microwave for making that popcorn and mac and cheese or whatever. More 110s. Storage underneath. Pantry, food, whatever, supplies. Nice. Oh look, storage under the seats here too. There is a table that normally goes here, which is this right here. Normally it's sitting up there, so it's like a little dinette. I don't know if you can fit four people there. Maybe if you're small enough, you could fit four people there. But clearly you can make it into a bed. Let's see. Oh, I see, just like that. Ah, oh, look at that. So that's what it looks like when you make it into a bed for me. Only two kids will probably fit here. I barely two kids. That's kind of small. Or one adult. So three adults or maybe two adults and two kids if you're lucky. Me, I could probably lay another kid here. <laughs> or another kid over there. I can make it work, man. I'm ghetto like that. Here's your sink with the folding faucet. Hot and cold water. Glass top so you can work on it still and use it as a surface work surface. Two burner stove, electric start. You got the pro, it comes off the propane out the front. And then again, glass top surface so you can work up here and use it as a work surface. This fridge is actually bigger than the other ones. How do you open this? Oh, there you go. Yeah, a little bit bigger than the other ones because of the high wall. So you put your food in there, your drinks in there. It even has a area for your ice if you want to make old school ice with the ice trays and this is that three-way fridge as well there's some storage there is your I believe that's your heater yep that's your furnace keep it nice and warm in the winter time so here's a look at that dormer that hard dormer basically you unlock that and fold it in unlock that fold it in then pull this down and the roof comes down and it just becomes the same as this right here but when you get to camp, you pop this open, and now look at this. It's got a lot of headroom, man. Look at that. That's a lot of headroom. I'm 5'9", just for reference. Tons of room here. That's cool. So this thing feels bigger. It definitely feels bigger than your normal pop tops. Nice, right? I like that. So... I don't want to go too crazy, but you fold this up. It's like a transformer. So you can kind of see here, you fold this open and you make a wet bath. So you can take a, take a shower or take a dump. But yeah, you got yourself a shower in here. That's cool. You got to lock it all up so it doesn't fall. Yeah, that's essentially it right there. I know some people don't like having a potty inside their camper, but you know what? When it's raining, snowing, windy or whatever, and you just can't go outside, it's nice to have that as an option. It doesn't have to be your primary, but it's nice to have that. And the shower too on the inside, that's cool, man. You get out there and you get dirty and you wanna come and just get cleaned up. It's nice, man, to get, uh, get clean by taking a shower right here inside your little tiny camper. It literally has everything, all self-contained inside, not outside. 
I think you can take a shower outside as well, but some people like to have everything inside. This is nice. I really, really like this model here. And look at that. It's only $17,988. It was $21,000. This is cool. You know what I think it is? I think some people don't like this model because of the toilet. But me, I like it because of the toilet. Storage there again. All right, guys. So there is a look at the... Uh, Rockwood Premier high wall a frame that is nice man I'm seriously thinking about this again I can't have an RV parked out out in front of my house I have to fold this down and put it in my garage and uh, yeah I think this one this one looks like it would be a good fit only thing I'm worried about is uh, my three kids I don't know if I can fit all my kids in here we'll see that is cool man all right, if you guys uh, want to buy one of these and you're in the Carson City area, northern Nevada, Tahoe area, whatever, stop by these guys. This is a whole RV center here in Carson City. Leave a like to support my channel. Appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these A-frames by Rockwood. All right, guys, leave a like to support my channel. Appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Rockwood Premier High Wall A-Frame Camper. What do you think about this thing? Pretty cool, huh? Would you buy one of these for $17,000? You think that's a good deal? Let me know. Leave your comments below. I appreciate it.